Hi everyone, so today we will be discussing about trailing stop losses. Uh, I leave the codes for both the short side and the long side on the description, but if you want to watch along and code, you can uh, watch along the entire video. So first let me go version 0.4, equal to 4. Just make sure that you have at the rate there. Uh, I know there's been a version 5, so I'll be doing a video on version 5 and its importance, but as of now we'll just uh, uh, create the trading stop. So we'll just call it trading stop. It's trading stop and then overlay equals true. Then let's create a simple strategy. So I think like if close is greater than SMA close comma 50 then tab strategy dot entry um, we'll call it long and then comma strategy dot long so there we go so our entrance is pretty clear now our exit is where things uh, come tricky because we're creating a trailing stop here so I'm just gonna call this trailing stop so you know that's what we're doing um, so trailing percentage, so let's say the trail percent is uh, 0.2, so we're doing it 20% and then uh, let's initiate the price of that stop, I mean like, so for example if you're doing $100, if you're entering at $100, if your stop loss has to be $20, we have to declare a name for that, so we'll call that price a stop and we'll call it 0, 0.0 as of now, um, and now let's decide on creating the um, when should the trailing stop be called so for that I'm going to use a simple if else statement so if so strategy dot position size is greater than zero so basically it checks whether you have a position or not so if you have a long position then the strategy dot position size will be greater than zero if you've got a short position then the strategy dot position size will be less than zero so once we have done that, then we will calculate the stop value. So how much should the stop value be? So stop value equals uh, close. Because we're doing a trailing stop percentage, uh, we need to uh, calculate it from one minus uh, the trailing stop percentage. So T-R-A-I-L-P-E-R-C. So just to sum up, so let's say if the close is 100, so it'll be 100 minus 100 into 0 0.2, which is 20. So the stop value will be 80. So it's as simple as that. So now the price of the stop, which we initiated before, I'm just gonna copy and paste this, you can save some time, equals to. Now here's the thing, the equal to will be kind of different here because we've already initiated the price stop here at 0, 0.0. So any other new changes in order to do that, it should be like that. This is something specific to Pine Script. So we'll do maximum of stop uh, value, comma, price underscore stop, and the array. Now I'll explain to you how this works. So you see the price stop here is 0, 0.0, and the new stop value is now 80. So basically the max function, what it does is that it checks these two values and say which one is maximum. So here it will take the value of 0 and 80 and say that, hey, the price stop is now 80. Now, because the trailing stop keeps on changing, so when the stock market goes up, again, the trailing stop also goes up with it. So again, we might get a new stop value of 120. So then it compares the 120 to the previous stop value, which is, uh, I mean, the previous uh, price stop, which was 100. So it... Uh, I mean 80, so suddenly it takes 120 and 80 and says the maximum of that, so that will be again 120. So the new trailing stop has been adjusted accordingly. Now that's pretty much it. Now if in case we are not in a trade, we don't want the price stop to be the old price stop of the previous trade. So when the strategy to position size is not greater than zero, so when we don't have a trade then the uh, price under score I mean, the price underscore stop uh, becomes zero. So again, since we're making changes to the already declared variables, we need to do that. 
And then that's pretty much it. So we have actually calculated the trading stop and now I just need to use the trading stop when the trade goes on. So if um, strategy dot position size underscore size is greater than zero. So when we're on a trade, then enter tab strategy dot exit I'll call that function id equals stop loss and we can decide on the stop price so stop equals the price of stop that's it that's all there is to the codes so let me see whether it runs or not i'm going to just call it trailing stop trailing stop loss just going to save that then i'm just going to add it to the chart see whether we have any some errors so yes now with regards to the shot side it's like exactly the opposite so the strategy to opposition size will be less than zero and here as well the strategy to position size will be less than zero and the uh, stop value will be one plus trailing stop because the uh, the stop loss is above so instead of uh, being 80 it will be 120 so if the stock price is 100 our trailing stop will be 20 percent above will be 120 um, so that's a small change there and then the minimum will be uh, will change the maximum to minimum. So if you want to download that code as well That's in the description, but if you just want the trading stop for the long side then just work it out from here But I'll leave both the codes in the description the link will be on the description so you can check it out Now let's see where we have made the trade So here we've gone long here. This is a meta platform, which is a new Facebook. So uh, we've gone long here and then the stop loss was called here because the market went down below the trading stop and again We went long here the market never uh, hit below the trailing stop so we'll just change this to 100% equity properties 100% equity and yeah this is a pretty decent strategy um, on Facebook but anyways that's pretty much it for the trailing stop so feel free to leave a comment and again one more thing uh, when you copy paste this codes from the web page make sure that there is the tab here because when you copy paste codes uh, the codes get crunched up so be careful with that so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video